Hey, this is Mike. Got in our first 2015 Challenger, and it just so happens to be the uh, Challenger RT with the Scat Pack, uh, and it is just amazing. Really amazing vehicle. Tremendous amount of power. It looks awesome. Tons of features, and um, never really seen anything like this car. This is the Granite Crystal Metallic paint and hopefully you can see in the in the video here while we're looking at the paint let's check out this awesome decal the RT modern RT decal there on the hood but um those wheels are awesome there's a specific term which I can't remember for those wheels but they are 20 inch We'll check out the window sticker when we get in the in the vehicle. But it does have the four piston Brembo brake system. And um, really cool. One of the features is that it does have remote start. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up. But before I do that, I'm going to walk towards the back. So we can hear the, hear the exhaust. one of the best sounding new vehicles I've ever heard uh, probably the best sounding this one has the backup camera which is located right there it has the backup sensors across the bottom and let's go ahead and open up the trunk here using the key and they just washed it so it's still a little bit wet I just wanted to get the video immediately as soon as they they cleaned it but here's the trunk it's got plenty of room now one thing I haven't found yet which I'll try to I must have to I might have to update this video that is it this has a nine speaker Alpine sound system and it says there's a subwoofer and I haven't been able to find it it's probably hidden somewhere under here um, you've got your battery paperwork stuff like that and there's a it doesn't have a spare tire but it does have this tire pump so with some fix a flat or something in it nice wide tires they are the Goodyear Eagle RSA squared, I guess. Now we did add some legal tint to the windows. So this doesn't come with tinted windows from the factory. It does have the proximity key. So if it's locked, I just put my hand there and it unlocks it. All right, here's the inside of the front door. Got like a little pocket there, bottle holder there. It's got the Alpine badge here. Your controls for your door. It has a power seat, uh, power sliding forward, back in lumbar on the driver's side. Passenger side is a manual seat. And look at these seats, they are it's got the embroidery here, RT, on both of the seats. And they are a Napa leather suede. Napa leather and suede seat. You got your leather out here and then your suede inserts. And the back, not much uh, leg room in the back as you can see. But you do have some back seats and they do fold down in case you need more room for the trunk. But they are the the suede and Napa leather in the back as well. Mm -hmm. 
super comfortable seats. Um, I mean, this is just an amazing vehicle. So, anyway, I have to turn this, push the buttons as I use the remote start, and turn the fan down a little bit, even though it's a hot day. Just kind of soaking it in. Love the new style of the interior. I like this a lot better. The steering wheel, everything about it. Uh, this con center console, the way the shifter looks, and uh, then the 14s and before has the big screen now, which is a huge improvement. Now the steering wheel, it has your your racing grip feel up there. Now, I'm kind of surprised it doesn't have the flat bottom like an SRT but uh, it does have an SRT engine which is amazing but we'll, we'll get into that soon enough. There's your steering wheel. Cruise control settings are on that side. Your volume for your radio is on the back of the steering wheel here and I can change to the stations on this side and your paddle shifters are here so when you put it in sport mode you can shift through the gears fairly fast with the paddle shifters and it's just a matter of milliseconds it can go in each gear it's really amazing got your automatic headlights and stuff there now here's your gauges on the uh, the right and left you have like a sporty retro style uh, you, you know speedometer it goes up to 180 miles an hour hopefully you can see that it's a little bit of a glare here from the Sun but 180 miles an hour and then you've got your your tachometer there RPMs and in the center we've got a like a digital screen and this is where you'll find um, your fuel gauge and your temperature stuff like that but I'm going to kind of scroll through it at the top here you can see which which menu system you're in screen setup speedometer vehicle info this is where you find your tire pressure cooling temperatures now it's got a neat gauge let me see if I can get in there closer Man. okay maybe you can see it there it's got a pretty neat looking gauge look to it when you're scrolling through let me get back up here scrolling through this stuff Engine power, engine torque, wow. Tire pressure. Just going through it again, so, because uh, there's some stuff in here that I'm not familiar with. The engine torque, I guess in the moment it gives you a, a, a gauge of what you're dealing with with your torque. Let me put it in gear. All right, so just sitting here in drive with my foot on the brake, I've gotten a little bit of torque there. So I'm gonna go back up here. Oh, not that way. I'm gonna go to the right. Engine horsepower. I don't know. And I, you know, I, I can't really drive this vehicle um, at all, so I'm just gonna have to just look at it on the on the lot here engine power pretty neat now let's go down here to performance reaction time different timers braking current g-forces that is awesome peak g-forces lap timer lap history top speed that is awesome all right let's scroll down here fuel economy there's the trips Audio messages, screens have. Okay, so we're scrolling through again. And there's a speedometer. So, pretty cool stuff there. 
um, it's all new to me but uh, the buttons I'm used to go through that system are right here your up and down your OK button stuff like that right and left down here is your Bluetooth buttons for voice recognition and your Bluetooth uh, you can answer the phone or make calls using these buttons here once your Bluetooth phone is paired now here's your touch screen now it is a pretty standard similar to what they had last year in some vehicles you got your radio there um, media this is where you have um, USB auxiliary Bluetooth and SD card inputs to play music on the system controls right now I've got the heat the ventilated seats on on it feels pretty good um, you got heated seats ventilated seats heated steering wheel and uh, same thing on a passenger now you don't have those settings in the rear um, but you also have your settings, your auto dim mirror, and you can turn your screen off there. Climate control, this is basic, uh, you know, your basic how, how much air you want to come out, how, how cold you want or hot you want it, where you want the air to blow, stuff like that. Now you have some redundant buttons down here that does the same thing, but um, it's nice to, to have it on the touch screen as well. Here's where you pair your phone. Once your phone is paired, you'll have... Um, your phone book, recent calls, stuff like that. Favorites on the top, you can make calls, you can see who you're talking to. Uh, there's different settings involved with that, but also transfer, a transfer button there is when you want to uh, make your phone call private and it goes back to your your regular phone. Uh, so if you got other people in the vehicle and you want to make calls and it's a private phone call, you hit the transfer button, it goes back to your, your cell phone. Now right here, got some cool buttons super track pack I'll have to find out what that is because I do not know sport mode um, that's you know basically what this car is all about as far as getting you the the, the vehicle to get get us at its peak performance when you push that button parking sensors you can turn those off traction control you can turn that off if you want to do donuts which is very likely in this vehicle and your uh, climate control buttons are down there this is your shifter and this one has an automatic transmission it's the torque flight eight speed transmission and your shifter is here now I can go ahead and put it in reverse like that this one does actually slide unlike some of the other eight speeds that you just kind of bump back and forth this one slides back and holds its position very comfortable too it kind of reminds me of a modern version of a uh, like an old timey, you know, old timey uh, muscle car shifter in a way. But when I put it in reverse, two things will happen. One is your backup camera will show up, and it seems like the clarity is a little bit better on the on the the 15s as far as the colors and stuff like that. Not so much of a. It's a little bit of a wide angle lens, but not too distorted. And the other thing that pops up is your backup cam, your backup sensors here. So basically, you have a picture of your car actually, and it looks just like a Challenger. So no, um, that's pretty good graphics there and you have the sensors now if I back up to something uh, something will this little thing will beep and also show me which direction I'm getting close to something um, so that way you know you don't run into anything So that's that. Now I'm gonna put it in neutral. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in drive. And instead of sport mode being on the shifter, you've got an M there, and I'm pretty sure that's a manual mode. So in order to put it in manual mode, you you um let's see here. Manual mode engage. Okay, so basically yeah go over that way there we go I figured it out it's different from the other shifter sorry about that you just basically slide it over here and then now it's that M illuminates the back here is drive so like that and then it shows you're in manual mode then you can shift through the using your paddle shifters and like go rocket right through the, 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 the gears 
the way you want them to be similar to like a manual transmission except for faster than what you could do humanly do with a clutch and a shifter um, you can like it supposedly it's milliseconds changing gears um, once you hit the button you're already in that gear so that's a pretty cool feature all right you got a little pocket there possibly to put the key or your cell phone or anything there cup holders here and I'm gonna try my best to be able to have access to this vehicle at nighttime so I can get in here and show you what everything looks like at night and as well as the exterior too because it's really cool looking here's the center console this lifts up this is where you'll find your SD card USB and auxiliary inputs as well as a power supply and it is a uh, little pocket here and it is suede lined it says Dodge Brothers Hmm, that's interesting. Glove compartments here. It's cool, it's got that Challenger over there next to the vent. Rear view mirror, pretty much the same that you've seen before in other vehicles. And uh, it does have the auto dim feature. Here's your garage door controls, tap lights, place to put your sunglasses, and um, it looks kind of small, but maybe some, you know, maybe some glasses, some, some sunglasses may not fit. I don't know, but there's a place there. Visors has mirrors and lights and a little slider there. Same thing on that side. Let's take a look at this window sticker. Scat pack. This is where the pause button comes in handy in case you want to look at something. I'm going to go faster than what you can read. And it says this has a 506 watt amplifier, nine speaker with subwoofer. And unless it's underneath the seat or something, I haven't seen the subwoofer so. I may have to leave that in the comments when I find it or maybe make a separate video. It says it gets 25 on the highway with a 6.7 liter V8. 485 horsepower, 25 miles on the highway. That's hard, it's kind of hard to believe, but I guess it's possible with modern technology. All right, let's look underneath the hood. by SRT 6.4 liter Hemi V8 large displacement engine 392 cubic inches I'm going to try to do some some video at night so you can see what it looks like and if possible I can't promise anything if possible maybe take this down the road slowly just so you can get an idea of what it sounds like but if you have any questions or anything any comments anything that you would like to add maybe you know where the subwoofer is let me know um, leave it in the comments so everybody can see I uh, really want to improve my videos as much as possible, so maybe you can help me out with that. And my phone number and email address will be in the description as well. Alright, see you next time.